Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a super exciting video for y'all today and it's going to be how to make these delicious, incredibly yummy, chewy, and soft red velvet brownies. And it gets even better because these brownies are just as easy and simple to make as they are delicious since they're technically made with only four ingredients. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. We're first going to start off with the ingredients you're going to need, and that's going to be some vegetable oil. I'm using a Mediterranean blend here. You'll also need a can of sweetened condensed milk, and then you'll need two eggs, and then what's really helpful is going to be this non-sprick cooking spray or vegetable oil. That's going to be very, very helpful. And lastly, you'll need a box of red velvet cake mix. And moving on to some tools that you're going to need, you're going to need a measuring cup that measures up to about a cup of liquids. You're going to need a fork, but what I find is so much better is a hand mixer or just a stand mixer. You'll also need a small mixing bowl and a large mixing bowl. And lastly, you'll need some sort of pan to bake your brownies in. I'm using this glass pan by Pyrex. Okay, so the first step in making these delicious red velvet brownies is to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You want your oven to start heating up to the appropriate temperature while you're mixing everything together and preparing your red velvet brownies. Alright, now that your oven is heating up to the appropriate temperature, you're going to measure out 3 fourths of a cup of your vegetable oil. And then you're going to go ahead and pour it into your small mixing bowl where we're going to mix all the wet ingredients together. Then we're going to go ahead and crack our two eggs into the bowl along with the oil. And then the very last ingredient we need to measure out is 3 fourths of a cup of the sweetened condensed milk to mix in with our wet ingredients. And now that we have all of our wet ingredients into our smaller mixing bowl, I'm just going to give a little bit of a mix to kind of get things mixed up in there. Not thoroughly, but just sort of get things going, I guess. And then you're going to take your bigger mixing bowl and you're going to carefully pour in your red velvet cake mix, unlike I did here where it just kind of spewed all over the counter and had to clean it up and everything. Okay, you guys, when I say this recipe is super simple, I literally meant it was really, really easy. So you're just going to go ahead and pour in your wet ingredients to the cake mix in that big mixing bowl and mix away until everything is thoroughly combined. Super simple, right? So as you can see here, I was struggling to mix everything with a fork because I thought I could just you know, easily get away with using a fork, but it ended up being a lot easier when I broke out my hand mixer after I gave up and trying to mix it with a fork. But the hand mixer was a lot, a lot easier, I promise you. If you have a hand mixer or a stand mixer, just use it. It's okay if you have to clean it up, plug it in, everything. It's worth it, I promise. So once everything has been thoroughly mixed in your mixing bowl, you're going to go ahead and prepare your baking pan by spraying some vegetable oil or non-cooking spray or non-stick cooking spray onto the pan, just like that. And if you don't have cooking spray, you can use butter or oil or anything like that, but the cooking spray makes it a lot easier. Then you're going to go ahead and pour in your brownie mix into the baking pan and the consistency is going to be a lot thicker than a traditional cake mix but it should not be at the consistency of like frosting or dough or anything. And then you're going to go ahead and spread it out evenly on the baking sheet and then you're going to go ahead and pop it in the oven for about 25 minutes. Now depending on the type and size pan you use to bake your brownies in, you might have to add or take away a couple minutes. But the best trick is going to be poking it with like a knife or chopstick and seeing if any batter sticks to it after about 25 minutes. And that's when you know it'll be done. For mine, it took about 28 minutes um, just because my baking pan was a little thicker. But yeah, once you're done, you will have a delicious red velvet brownie that's really, really chewy and delicious. Has that flaky texture of a delicious brownie, but has that sweet flavor of a red velvet cake. And the middle of it is so, so unbelievably soft and moist and it is just delicious. I've made this for potlucks and for friends and everyone just loves it. And again, it was super easy to make and it only used four ingredients. So I definitely recommend you make this for your next party, potluck, gathering, or anything like that. It will definitely blow the mind of your friends because it is a twist on the traditional brownie, but it is even better. I promise you that. So that's it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. I know it was a little different from what I usually make, but I hope you did like this cooking video. Check out my previous video, which was a collective try on haul. And don't forget to add me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat and I hope you have an amazing day and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!